something that really made my career was setting up my my man down low because uh, I wasn't the biggest of guys, but I knew I could shoot and I knew I could read screens. So if I could run all day, then I had the advantage. And you could run all, all day. All day. All the day. only guy that might have outrun you maybe was Mully, who yes. just never stopped, by the way, yes. but he had to. <laughs> you got a great screener and Shaq out here, but I want you to talk about some of the some of the ways. Some of the ways, yes. All right, Zeke, Jack, come on over here, big dog. Okay. And I need my point guard. Point guard, guard cause, cause All right, I, I'm coming. Because uh, Isaiah taught me a little bit of this, too, when he was our coach in Indiana. Look, we know there's three ways that a defender is going to guard you in the motion. They're either going to force you one way, so either that side or that side. They're going to play behind you, or they're going to play on top of you. Most good defenders like Joe Dumars, Michael Cooper, Alvin Robertson, they don't play this way and they don't play behind because you saw the pass by Isaiah. If you do that, boom. And if you play behind, boom. Mm -hmm. So most good defenders, like a Joe Dumars, is going to force you one way. And most of the time, they're going to force you away from your strengths, which at the time was Rick Smith's, which Rick would be right here. Is John Starks a good defender? He was. Okay. He was. He John Starr. I know he is. <laughs> <laughs> he was good. What, was he Joe Dumars? No. no okay. Right. Reggie, I'm okay. Reggie, what is your relationship with the point guard as to when it is that you started your action? We've got to be on the same page. And he knows I want to come off Shaq, Rick Smith. So I've got to be able to set him up. Smitty wants to force me away from Shaq, right? So it's my job to set him up. And this is when the games all start. So he's going to force me this way, and the referee is, is standing there, okay? So first you want to kind of grab a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Now, there's a lot of grabbing going on in you this. Uh... And, and you want to act like you're getting held mm -hmm. when really you're doing the holding. So you're Just like, ref, ref, ref. So I put my hands up, ref. So all, but all what I'm really trying to do is set up Smitty to get him off balance. So I know he wants to send me off this way. But I want to come off number 34 because that's my bread and butter. And it's all about reading streams. So now. And while he's doing that, every time he takes an inch, I'm looking at the defense also. So I'm baiting him with the ball. So here, so and this I'm is when the game starts. So he's going to force me off one way. So now I'm going to turn to him. And I kind of want to get into him a little bit. I want to move him. So now I'm moving him up. Now he's got me. Now I'm moving him up, right? So this is when I'm going to fake one way. And he thinks I'm going off the way he wants. And I start my sprinting now. You're having to read the defender here as well. Correct. It's on the big guy on the screen. So thank you for that. So here's my picture. Boom. Mm -hmm. I got him. Oh, so I'm assuming he's going to trail me because he's right on my heels. So now my next picture is looking at Grant. How is Grant going to do? Is he going to show out or is he going to stay on big Shaq because Shaq's the bread and butter? It's a soft show by Grant. Well, now I got him because I only need a half a second to get off because he's trailing. Most shooters, and you guys know this in 3D, you want the trail because either I can gonna come here and get the 45 degree 15 footer, or I can curl up to the elbow here and I've got plenty of options. I can keep going in for a layup. If this guy helps, Isaiah gets the shot, or I stop and throw it down to the soon to be Hall of Famer. These are all the options. Well, let's just say I take the picture and I see Smitty going over the top. Well, this is where I got to read and use Shaq. Now, back when we played, we could kind of manipulate the bigs by kind of pushing them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And now he takes out two guys, and I fade to the corner. This is the easiest three on the court. If a player is going to go over top, most players will fade to the three-point line. If he trails me, normally, unless he falls down and Shaq gets him good, which he got me a lot of times when I was trying to guard Kobe coming off this play, mm -hmm. illegal screens. <laughs> then I'm going to come off right here to about a 45 degree angle. So the footwork for you, though, Reggie, at the three point line, how does that differ? Because at this, Mark Jackson's coming over. He knows you're on the fade. Mm -hmm. He sees. He's also seeing Smitty cheat. Sure. You're going out there. How is it that your footwork setting up your balance there? Most most shooters, they never look down at the three point line because they know where they're at on the whole court. Right? Yep. And it's all about footwork. And that's one thing I prided myself in from UCLA because they taught fundamentals every single day, all about the wooden rules, to the NBA. Just floating to the three-point line, the soft corner three, using your fundamentals and your footwork to shoot the corner three. But I thought Reggie was so good at whenever you came off and you were, I was late, 
and you caught the basketball, Reggie wasn't scared to pump fake and jump into you because that was always two points. Oh, you don't say, Smitty. No, I'm just saying. I, I, thought, I, I thought him not being afraid of contact. You've got to want the contact. Him understanding, well, if you foul me, that's two. Because he shot 97%. So I thought that. <laughs> so it always had me, Reg, whenever you made a little hesitation, mm -hmm. I didn't know whether to. Well, I kind of want him to catch up. You always wanted me to I catch up. I want him to catch If I don't have a shot, we'll You always wanted me. me to catch up. Catch up then. So, so I can play a two-on-one. Because yep. if you're not there, I can kick to a three. He can drive, kick to the three in the corner right there. It's a chain reaction.